Hey, this is Keith and Ryan from Sudbury, Ontario. You're watching Trucker Josh. Keep the rubber side down, the shiny side up. Keep between the lines. 10-4. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Drive 9.1 kilometers on Great Northern Road. The sign says Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, Canada. Slept just outside of town tonight. Or last night, I guess it would be now. And just hitting the road now. We want to get to Sudbury as fast as we can. I have to unload this gravel trailer I have on the back of my step deck today yet. Before we go any further though, coffee. Every day starts off better if you can start it off with coffee. Or just caffeine in general. to get this trailer off my trailer. So proving to be a little difficult. <laughs> Lifting it up on that end, he's gonna lift it up on this end, I'm gonna drive out. <laughs> This'll be interesting. They got the front end loader on the other side. This side they got the, the backhoe. We're gonna lift it up together. And I'll drive out. Well, that idea didn't work, so they brought the big loader to the back now. I'm gonna chain the back to this with the little loader at the back there. They're trying to lift it up so that I can drive forward. It'd be a lot easier if we had a ramp, but they don't have a ramp. And I don't have ramps either, so. We're trying to get creative with how we're going to get this thing off the trailer. <laughs> okay, so he's going to lift that end up there. This big guy's going to lift the heavier end up, which makes more sense, I guess. But we thought it would work the other way. I thought it would. So I'm just going to wait until they figure out a way to get it off, like just lift it a few inches off the trailer, and then my job is just to drive out. Funny. Keith over there on the trailer. He actually watches my videos, he recognized me. <laughs> I've never had a, a place where I'm delivering to actually recognize me from YouTube. <laughs> it worked. Sometimes you gotta get creative. Beautiful. There we go. So that trailer is his trailer. First time I've ever actually made a delivery to a viewer. Day by day, man. Yeah. It was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's For got sure. it hooked up to a nice little Freightliner unit there, so. Delivered my trailer, I got to meet Trucker Josh, happy guy here. <laughs> yeah, I pulled up here and he says, wait, aren't you Trucker Josh? <laughs> Never happened before. No, <laughs> hey, no, it no, was awesome, man. It would have been nice to have this guy here a little sooner, but yeah. he did come to help. We made it happen. Yeah, we made it happen. It always make it happen around here. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice unit. Yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna clean up my trailer here, get everything set up. These guys have still gotta go to Montreal and they want it there 8.45 a.m. Monday. And I gave them a call and they weren't very nice to me on the phone, so I'm not looking forward to it. 
Yeah. Watch, they're gonna be a viewer now too. <laughs> yeah. I'm calling you out for not being nice to me. Yeah. Whoever that is. <laughs> going to Quebec. These guys were nice to me. Oh, though. you get the Sudbury hospitality here, man. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the whole way here, I was talking to Ryan. Yeah. Man, he's been super nice. Oh, Ryan's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Best guy to work for. Yeah. McBain Group. And he came out to uh, to help me late on a Friday yet. I was kind of nervous. I thought that you guys might ask me to come on Monday. No. Oh, it's nice you guys. Uh... We were so excited to get that trailer. Yeah. We would have taken you at midnight. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. We're, we've been waiting for that. <laughs> we're excited for that. Yeah, I, I booked it to get here. I, I don't think I could have gotten here five minutes sooner. Yeah. I pushed it as hard as oh, I could. Oh, yeah. You could have showed up here at one in the morning. We would have yeah. came unloaded. <laughs> See, I want to deliver to these guys more often. Anytime. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime. Well, now that Ryan and Keith took their trailer off my off my trailer, I have no wind resistance. This is awesome. I'm getting close to 20 liters better per 100 kilometers, which means I'm burning half the fuel I was pulling that thing. That's how much drag that trailer created on my truck. So I averaged about 44 liters per 100 kilometers all the way through Ontario. And now I'm averaging about 25, just under half. It's amazing how much wind resistance adds to your fuel economy one way or the other. We're leaving Sudbury right now and I'm gonna make my way slowly over to Montreal. They invited me out for supper here. You know, I'm kind of kicking myself. I, I wish I would have taken them up on their offer. I just, I need to get down the road for my e-log sake, right? And I have to deliver Monday, but I kind of wish I would have gone out for supper with them. Those were great guys. First, before we leave town, we've got a fuel up. Quebec doesn't have very many flying J's, if any. So uh, this is the last flying J I know of. Been here many times before. Not in a long time though. I sort of turn. Right turn left. I sort of miss all these routes coming out here. When I was on dry vans, I really do miss those routes. It's nice coming out here again. Oh wait, why is there a cone on this side? Okay, all right, we'll go to this side then. This is one of those uh, one pump card locks. Oh, someone left their gloves on top of the pump. Uh oh, I see that so often. <laughs> Well, Diesel, I think while we're here, we're gonna figure out where we're gonna spend the night. I'm not too sure where we're gonna sleep yet. I don't think we're going past Ottawa. I'm gonna have to look at the map at where they're routing me through. When possible, make a U-turn. How about after off. we're done fueling? That's when it's possible. Quiet down, Mandy. She's always talking. She likes to talk over me all the time. Okay, so we're going past Ottawa, right? Not into Gatineau though. He's a past Ottawa. Okay, so there's a truck stop there, uh, past Ottawa called Herbs. If we could make it to there tonight. It's just the only thing is there's nothing around there. It's just out in the middle of nowhere. Great truck stop, great restaurant there, showers, the whole nine yards. It's a great place to stop. It's just, if I'm gonna be there for a reset, it'd be nice if we could stop in, in a town somewhere where I could have somewhere to walk to, go and do something. We'll, we'll see. See what happens. Maybe we'll find somewhere to stop on the way there and then we'll go to Herbs the next day. Either way, I've got to go uh, make make sure that I'm in Montreal 8.45 a.m. Monday. These are going on a boat or something. I guess everything that goes to Nunavut goes to their capital, Iqaluit. And I guess the fastest way to get to Iqaluit would be through northern Quebec. Even though Manitoba borders Nunavut by land, it's faster for them to go up through Quebec and then go over the Hudson's Bay by boat to Iqaluit, because Iqaluit's actually a little further north. It's nowhere near Manitoba, really. Northwest, I mean, uh, Nunavut used to be all Northwest Territories, but Nunavut is the newest territory of Canada, newest recognized territory. It's actually the, the largest province or territory in the, in the country. And if Nunavut was its own country, I think it would be something like the third largest country in the world. That doesn't seem right though, now that I said it out loud. It's pretty big though. There's a total of about 15,000 people, I think, that live in all of Nunavut though. So not very many people. It's all Arctic territory. Very cold. Very, very cold. Okie dokie. Okie dokie then. Yeah. 
Weather is beautiful out here. These are real old school. Actually, no, wait, wait, no, they got the new ones now. Look at this, they got the new ones. Look at that. That's still old school up there. It still says Shell Access. It's actually a Flying J. <laughs> Same company, whatever. Oh, there's the Flying J right there, you see it? Gas. I don't know what gas is. Diesel. Dollar thirty-five per liter. But with a fleet card, you might get a little discount. We'll see. I usually get about five cents off per liter. No DEF here. Doesn't want to give me any juice. What am I doing wrong? Do I gotta press this? Why don't you give me any juice? Hey! Well, it reset, it did something there. Oh, it clicked. Didn't give me any discount though. All right, well this pump doesn't work. Well, what in the hunt? All right, oh, so we'll try this side. It does have this cone there, so I'm not sure what that's all about. See if this side lets me get some juice. You got any juice for me? Hey, I'm not messing around. I'll punch you, I'll hit you right in your face. Oh, well, moment of truth. Are you gonna give me juice? You better give me juice. You better give it. Give it to me. I'm counting on you. Nothing. No juice for me. Rude. Oh. I'd punch you if there wasn't cameras here. Right in your, right in your face. No juice for me. That's why they got the cones here. All right then. Guess I'll put the cone back. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Flying J, your card lock in Sudbury, Ontario isn't working. Fix it. You have 5 hours and 48 minutes of remaining drive time. Thank you, nameless person. I haven't named you yet, but she's my new friend. She's not as yappy as Mandy. I kind of like her better. She doesn't talk as much. Alright, not a big deal, not a big deal. We'll just go to Petro Pass. Give them our business instead. Hopefully they have uh, facilities that, you know, and services that actually work. It's always a bonus when they provide that. Well, that was a complete waste of time coming to this Flying J card lock. Good thing that we're not rushed. I was rushed to get here. Now I got lots of time to spare. I'm thinking we might just go to North Bay tonight and do the rest tomorrow. What do you think? I think that'd be all right.